All right, guys, we're getting ready to take this to our boy Andrew at Salvage the Savage. They're gonna use the crank uh, off this one and put it on the other motor. And then I'm gonna get this motor machined by them and I got another crank. Um, so they have a crank for this one as well. So um, yeah, we're gonna get this one ready just in case to have it as a backup and go from there. I got the motor with the crank and then we got the other crank. And we got some plastic bags because it looks like it's gonna rain, maybe. Maybe. So, just in case. I'm gonna wrap it in bags, you feel me? Uh, we just made it to Jackson's out here, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get this thing tuned. We got the homie over here, he just closed the door on us. We locked out, you know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to show you that car right there, but if you follow me, you know, it's there. So, <laughs> so we got our car here. Oh yeah, it's in the air. Let's go. Uh, we gotta do, we gotta install the exhaust real quick and then I just gotta change out some bolts here that are uh, just not tight enough, so let's get to it. got the car we're gonna move it to the other shop get it ready for tuning yeah she looking pretty boss she looking pretty
it's good guys so as you guys can see unfortunately we didn't get the results that we wanted on the 240 um and we're back to the drawing board but we're making space in the back garage we're gonna go ahead and take it all apart once again we're gonna see what happened we it sounded very bad right it sounded like it was a mortar thing but we don't think it's a motor we don't think it's a lifter uh when we put um, a screwdriver to like listen to the closeness of where it was it wasn't coming from the top but it was coming from transmission so we're gonna take it all apart I did have uh, some situation already happen with my transmission as far as the clutch and the bolts that uh, the ARP bolts I was using for that it was scratching my disc pushing the disc out so I wonder if that did any type of damage maybe a spring got loose because it wasn't on a rotate it, it was on a rotational sound if you listen to it. it would go away it would come back on a rotational it wasn't really much of a ticking as far as a motor because it would be a constant tick right um so we're just gonna the car's on the way now uh andrew's gonna pick up his 350z which we finished it looks great <coughs> um you know i'm back to the drawing board i'm not stopping yet i'm not quitting yet i can't i've already put five years of, of time into this and a lot of money invested uh, that I'll probably never get back, so might as well just keep throwing more money at it. Um, and in the meantime, we're gonna work on the G35, continue changing the harness and checking out fuses and stuff like that. And hopefully we can make it to a two-day event, but if we don't, it's okay. We'll still be out there supporting the homies and getting ride-alongs, taking video footage and all that great stuff. But yeah, it's time for the breakdown and let's see what happened we're definitely going to do our homework we're definitely going to change a lot more things clean out a lot of stuff brand new cooler brand new am lines brand new filters brand new everything if we need to you know and start from scratch so stay tuned yo 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 what's good guys so we got the car back and we got some news for you so once again the culprit was the lifter as you can see um these along with my cam were very expensive you know these are the delphi uh summit ls7 lifters and we got the uh bfd uh cam um so we're having an issue where this is the second time something like this happens to our lifters and they are all getting eating alive as you can see you know see little you know they're taking hits the cam took a lot of hits so unfortunately that's done but we found us you know i guess we're getting closer to our solution bad trays uh the wrong length of push rod something along those lines so once again we're gonna go ahead and start fresh we're gonna go ahead and you know take this apart but we're also going to go ahead and start fresh with a new blog that we know came off a running vehicle. Um, and, um, you know, we're just going to take that apart, make sure it's clean. Everything spins good. We we know it was running for sure. It came out of a running car. We pulled it out running. So uh, and then we're going to start from scratch, buy everything brand new again, do everything we have to do and get it fresh. Uh, as far as these and the lifters in the cam, um, uh, we got this not that long ago, so hopefully uh, we can talk with Summit and maybe they can warranty these out. I know it's very hard, but, you know, more of a ask them for a favor to help us out and stuff like that. So stay tuned. We found the solution. Um, not that big of a deal, to be honest. This is um, could be fixed. So we just got to do some, you know, we just got to dig deep, clean up, start fresh and never giving up hope man we're gonna keep going at it and get this thing running um i mean she looks so beautiful like i can't i just can't so stay tuned yo 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 what's good guys so we are working on the 240 today uh we already got some things apart we already took out the radiator we got the harness just completely disconnected now we're disconnecting all the an lines for the oil and stuff um and then once i drain all the oil make sure i don't make a mess in here because <laughs> we got to be on the floor uh Disconnect the lines and then I'm going to start disconnecting the headers, dry shaft, dropping the transmission, letting go of the motor mounts, and she should be ready to pull. This car is pretty simple uh, for the most part when it comes to pulling, so that's pretty much all it takes. I just need to undo the shifter on the inside so the tranny can drop and just pull out. So uh, we plan on getting this out today and uh, start disassembling and disassembling our, our new motor and, you know working some magic i guess so stay tuned 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and uh, took everything off. We got the motor mounts released. All I need to do is just uh, take off the, the bolts off the tranny mount, and she's ready to pull out. So um, just bleeding uh, some power steering fluid here so we don't make a mess all over the floor. Uh, and then I just got to finish disconnecting that line, and but um, she's ready to go, man. So, yeah, we're probably going to have her out by tonight, and then you know, start going ham on breaking her down and getting the other block and breaking that apart and just, you know, making sure we do everything to the T. So, stay tuned. All right, for real though, fucking motors out, trans out. It's about that time to put in work, you feel me? Saturday, we're putting work on the G, but in the meantime, we're taking this shit out. This thing needs love. My man... AKA Dark Performance is coming through. They're like, Vic, Dylan, how you guys get it out so fast? I don't know, it's only the fifth time we take this shit out. You know what I'm saying? It's two engines. So put it in and out twice. That's three, three ten engines. times. Three engines. Three engines. So six times. Remember, it's every time you gotta put it in and out twice. In and out twice. In and out twice. In and out twice, getting fucked.